Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of the Laser Shooting Robots and our wonderful toy reviews. And we got Legos. Oh, yes. A new series just rolled out, I think, within the past... Series 12. Two, three weeks, I think, internationally and around the world, and these guys are pretty cool. Gold bags. They got them with codes for an online plus game code, but... Yeah, the little one game is apparently pretty good. I've only seen clips of it. Oh, yeah. You get to play your little Lego figures, and you run around and do little missions. Can you be Lego people in the nude? You might be able to just run, I don't know, you can make your own Lego character. <laughs> and I think of these, you get the code for the character. I'm not sure. We'll have to dig into it. Uh, I guess so. I guess we'll maybe on a future update, we will let you know how our... Oh, I'm pretty sure it'll tell you in here. You maybe just get the extra pieces, I don't know. True. But I'm pretty sure there'll be more instructions inside here. Yes. So, so I guess we start digging into them. Let's, let's. Series number 12, if you don't count the movie or The Simpsons. Got 13 here. Trying to see our luck. Trying to see if my luck at opening these things or... Figuring who's out, who's in here is working. Ooh, dear. Listen. Yeah, because you like to feel the bags, right? I like to grab random Oh, ones. I like to violate the bags. I mean, hey. He's, yeah, a, ba well. he's a bag groper. I am a bag groper at the store. So who do we got in here first? Oh, oh we've got the Battle Goddess, says so she's been dubbed, but she's more. I think she's more like a Greek or Roman goddess. This is the yeah. collection, by the way. Yeah, here's the full set. You got the... All 16 to collect. Let me get that focus in. Our director is not here today. Oh, dear. He's away camping. In the rain. Uh, ironically, he's always, it always rains when he goes camping. But we got the wizard. We got the Mongolian barbarian. We got a princess and a frog. I didn't even see her on the rest of the packages, but... Mm -hmm. these are, or there's a gamer. Player one. There's a... It's kind of like an opera chick. There's a space marine driller person. There's Diva Hasselhoff. There's a uh, prospector, Jester, uh, Hunger Games chick, uh, pizza delivery guy, the rock star, the uh, Dogtanian probably. Muscle musketeer. I'll, I'll, say, like I'll say Dogtanian. Dogtanian. There's a uh, pig with an apple. Oh, the best the animal suit. <laughs> the genie and Wednesday Adams. At least I'm calling her Wednesday Adams. Exactly. I kind of <laughs> thought she was the emo chick, but I was like, no. Even her skin tone is monochrome, so. Yeah, so it's actually yeah. a pretty diverse set. Here's the thing, play online. Ah. It looks like you get the characters. Oh, yeah, you get the oh. character. I'll know. have to send that code later, or maybe cut that a little bit. Like, unlock um, minifigure online, so you get a little minifigure with the code. And guys, guys, look. This is the first attempt at... You, got, you forgot the skirt. Sexy Lego. Why are you dancing dun, with no head? Dun, 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 dun. Because it's a Morbo. Da, 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 da. It's not that horror movie of Robin England, is it? Maybe. The Who short horror it? movie? Oh, I don't remember. Part that. of the. Some horror movie collection. That's basically all short horror movies. Oh, okay. No, I think I skipped that one. I think Robert England is. Will be and always will be Freddy to me. He so. is. And the skirt's just being a pain in the ass. For my hair, the skirts are always a pain in the ass. You know what? Like Marge Simpson, she's going to just be wearing the rest of the video without it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I can get the skirt done when you get the helmet and stuff done. Arg. She's got a new hairpiece and everything. Except she looks like she's kind of... Ah. Well, that's the way you get the hair. That's why. So you can have it... Ooh, you can have it with a crest. You can have it forward. So many options. And she's also not wearing pants. No double printing on the head, which got back printing on the back, actually. But it was really That's nice. Kind of, it's kind of rare for Lego people. It's either they do it or they don't, so it's kind of nice when they do do it. Okay, where's the body? There's my body. There's a little sandals pin on our feet. Yeah. So, they got the weird split thing again, but I think oh, they yeah. may be designed like that, but I'm not sure. I think so, yeah. I think the way the skirt looks, it's kind of like the half one, so it's like... Okay, ah. I got the skirt on slightly wrong. It's supposed to go that way. <gasps> She's supposed to be showing more leg. This looks fine though. It does. Actually, yeah. I think it. Actually, no, it is still right. It's just it's different than the picture. I always felt that the folding, the folding fabric things were always kind of touch and go. They either they worked or they didn't. The spear's kind of nice though. Yeah, yeah. The skirt is different than the picture. It's more blocky in the picture. It's yeah. got a lot more little blocks in that one. There's bigger blocks here, but that's just the way that is. Exactly. Shields really well done. She's got a horsey on it. Look, horsey, horsey. <laughs> no, it's actually pretty cool. Again, I kind of like. I was kind of nice return um, for Lego people to kind of yeah, go away from anything licensed or a movie. It's that way. What? No, I like it the other way. It's less well, aerodynamic. Put it this way for now. So yeah, this yeah, that's, that's one no Greek opera type thing. 
Exactly. Or Sexy Athena. As Brandon will I call her. Exactly. And I'll probably take off the dress. Probably. That sounded like wrong Simpson. on the internet, yes. Exactly. Everything you say sounds wrong on the internet. Very much so. So yeah, that's just another piece of paper. Who do we got here? Oh, it's the genie. Genie. Yeah, Christina Aguilera. I'm a genie in a bottle. Okay, it was the right person singing that song. Exactly. Um, so again, kind of got like the long hair piece. She's only got one face. She's got the gold lipstick again, kind of like with other chick. So it's not bad. There we go. Moving it so you can't focus. It's focused. I got a better view of here. Let's build the rest of her. Okay, so she doesn't have legs. I guess, I guess his cues. Kind of smirky face in this one. Yeah, I guess his cues to kind of when you're feeling out for things. I think I figured her out. She's got the spear. She's, that's yeah. a dead giveaway. Jean well, Chan the elf is uh, the wizard. Also got a staff, so he does. That probably kind of threw you off a little bit in that one. It did actually. Ironically, the guy that took me a long time. I guess I haven't revealed him yet. I was looking for the pizza guy, and he was a guy I went through almost a that's full piece. That's who got him. I know, really. I know, right? Otherwise, you'd be killing yourself. Uh, a little bit. I spent a lot of time mooshing the packages. Close to an hour, actually. Mm. And the genie. Well, that's when the Walmart picked up round two bags and told you to find me a couple of other ones. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I take the easy way out. You did take the easy way out. Again, she's got back printing, so that's kind of a neat yeah. little thing for Lego. The game. Lego started doing that now. Their minifigures. They do. The genie yeah, side. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure. I guess the front is the sparkly side. Oh dear. So yeah, she's it's got. Yeah, it's gonna be awkward to stand that one. Yeah. Think. It's a little top heavy. It sounds pretty well. But Lego's got a pretty good stand base anyway. They do. They do. But it'll give them a little stand anyways. So the genie, I kind of think feeling her out. Oh, so that sounded wrong. Um, I think it's you kind it's of you the, the, the lack of legs. I think the That's lack of legs is what gives her away. So if you don't feel a leg piece in there, it ain't the genie. And the color on the leg area can't kind of match as well the pin part on the... On the waist, they yeah. got the pin at the bottom. It matches pretty well. Exactly. It's not bad for a little four dollar little piece of plastic from Denmark or. Uh, it wasn't uh, in the U.S. now anyway. Is it? In the, oh, okay. Well, part China. Or China? Yeah, exactly. I'm thinking like <laughs> Lego China, aka our manufacturing plants. Where's the mid in here? I'm looking at my bag just because we get double so we can show <gasps> a bit more. One. Well, I think what started me on these Lego minifigures is the fact they have people in animal costumes. Components so, me in China, so yeah, they're me oh, in China. There you go. Those so, Chinese are good at making things. Apparently. We sure are very industrious, and we do it for peanuts. He's actually got the pin uh, tail on the back. He does actually. So this is the pig. Okay. Well, maybe I'm the gallery now. Yeah, it's kind we'll of show them off. Little face on him. I like the pig. He did get the eyebrows on him too. Actually, yeah, it does. Yeah, he's got little eyebrows on him. He's got a little apple thing. Which is like, cool. uh, Lego starting to put like facial detail on the characters, like eyebrows and stuff, instead exactly. of just having the plain old smiley face, smiley face Lego figure, <laughs> yeah. which they did for years. Totally. They still uh -huh. do actually. That the back of Benny heads, Benny's head is basically. Well, the that's because it was a throwback on. figure, though. True. So, yeah, there we go. There's a. Uh, Pig. He's one of my favorite ones. Again, yeah, feeling him out. Get it's, a little teal um, and everything. Aim for the helmet. I think the head and the you know basically if you feel like the ears, it's kind of itchy and scratchy. If you feel the ears, you can definitely be rest assured you got him. Or you got a person like Brendan. Just do what I do. Find me this figure and this figure and this figure. I know. Let's see if I got thirteen different figures. We're gonna see. And we do have the bonus ones, basically. Just ones I, requests. My requests and the two random ones I picked up, which are not buried with the ones I requested. Oops. That's okay. Flab. So who do we got in bag number four? You got the Hunger Games chick with Hunger a Games syringe chick. for some reason. I, guess I don't she's know. A hunter. Some people said Dino Tracker, I think, is her name. But she's actually got side printing. What the hell? She's got yeah. cargo pockets. Just like That's all hunters need cargo pockets. Well, let's throw more things, I guess. Exactly. But she can be. She can basically be Katniss, I think. And there we go. Yeah, she does have a syringe to... She's got the exact same hair as... Uh, was it the genie, yeah? Genie, except for it doesn't have the little band painted on. Right, because the hunter girl don't need but that. But yeah, they use the exact same hair. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's all right. Exactly. There's no only certain amount of the hair cells Lego do. Exactly. It's better than kind of like the old toupee styles that I remember growing up. Oh, yes, up I know. I grew even up the well. women had toupees. And they were completely flat. There was no hair detail at all. Oh, no, not Except at all. Except for the female hair had a little bit of line on them. Exactly. Uh, I guess you grasp the syringe by, I guess, the syringe body. So she's ready to syringe you with her bow, which apparently is shared from Hawkeye. Is it? Yeah. Well, I guess it is a recurve bow, Rikidia. so... Ha, ha, ha. Cheated. Ah. 
So for her, I think the key was looking for her. Well, I think is the bow again is a dead giveaway. Yep. Um, so you can probably. Or if that. you want, you can feel like for the ponytail, and if it's got legs as well, then it's her. And how? Okay, because I think go. those are the only way two of. Uh, yep, the only two have ponytails. There you go. We got le chasseur. Je suis Cadnes or Dino Woman or whatever she wants to be. Yeah, with a syringe for some reason. Exactly. I just don't understand that part. Ooh, maybe she's gonna like resuscitate somebody from a drug. But yeah, back print as well. She got a little strap there for a little yeah, oh, grenade yeah, pipes back. or whatever it is. Yeah, the bandolier. Freaking awesome. Okay, bag number five. Number five. See, so, yeah, sorry, this is probably gonna be a long video, but that's okay. Exactly. You guys have watched longer videos. These are more awesome. Well, we haven't faced this one yet. <laughs> I've got Attila, Attila the Hun. Eh. That's quite nice done, Kip. Yeah. He could also be like it's the guy kind of, that... It's, it's nice. Flat on one side, that's obviously the, the back of the Kip. He could also there's ask a, people what well, is the back of the Kip, that's the inside of the Kip. Nice and flat. Really nice and like this one. Kind of flocked. Like the helmet is like, it's really awesome. You might want to put the Kip on first. No, I don't want to put the Kip on. Okay, fine. And see, now we need a Conan minifigure so we can ask him what is best in life. And Conan <laughs> can be like, you know what he says. We can't look like the FIFA Conan variant. Yeah, Subutai, right? That's yeah. the name. Subutai. I'm, in case you haven't noticed, I'm horrible. Gary Lopez, who is so not Asian, but that's okay. In case you haven't noticed, I'm horrible of names. And I can uh, watch some million times and I'll still forget the names of the characters. Well, this one's actually really cool. I like this little Hun warrior or Mongol. I think it's probably aiming for Huns, I guess. I don't know. One slash Mongolian. They're kind yeah. of the well. Or I'm not time. too. I'm not too uh, filled in on the whole uh, history of the characters. The those uh, more of the European medieval Euro type history. European. Oh yeah. Again for him, uh, it's a shield. I think that was the one that really helped me kind of figure out who he was. Yeah. Well, there's two around shields, but I don't know. Yeah. I'm well, not. I'm not good picking these. Guys. That's why I love blind boxes. I don't really care. Conan, what is best in life? But yeah, he's nicely done. Very nice. Uh, nice the, the cape is really nice. It's very soft. You could just pet it all day. So yeah. So there we go. Bag number five. Number six. This one you got? Fleb. You got we the got rocker. the rocker. Oh. I want him to go along with my... Uh, I can't remember what series that one was. I got the rock kick. Yeah. He's even got like little chest hair or <laughs> like oh, dear. That, that's really weird. Um, again, only one head. I'm just noticing like no one's got dual sided heads this time. I think that's only for the Lego movie figures. Yeah, but even like even some of the other ones like um, I can't remember. I didn't. I think there were a few. I thought there were a few of them that did double heading. But anyways, this guy's actually really good. <laughs> I got the one off the two faces instead of were one normally. I got the Mr. Yeah. Jackal and Mr. Hyde one. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Because sometimes they were doing that. I got him with a toy for a couple of years ago. Unfortunately, we didn't go to the toy fair this year. In case you were looking for anyone that had, that had hands similar to ours, because <laughs> yeah, we, I was busy. At, it works busy, so I couldn't make it. And I'm broke. And I'm broker because of these Lego people. God damn it. <laughs> it never ends. It's totally worth it though. No, actually, the rocker's really cool. I like the hair. He's got he's got like this eighties. He's definitely eighties uh, hair metal glam rock <laughs> band. <laughs> and the little spikes over the jacket. And, and I think he's the, the first Lego guy with chest hair. Kind of weird. It could be possible. Could be. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I haven't looked. really looked into Lego chest hair. Exactly. Shaving. It's something I'm really looking into. I don't think I'm ever going to look into it. Yeah. <laughs> Quick to Brickpedia. Who has hairy chested? I heard for P and Nick, so. Well, if this guy, the other guy had chest hair, this guy clearly does not. It's the swashbuckler. It's Doug Tanyan. Number seven. This is quite interesting. This is, uh. All the medieval sets used to come with this piece for the fellers. Exactly. On the helmets. If they just made, like, a Dread Pirate Roberts, I would like that. And then they had to make an Inigo Montoya. You well, you just throw a mustache in that one. That's true. Eh. Eh. There you go. But yeah, it's nice to have the, you, well, they might as well recycle an old part they've had for years. Exactly. Uh, it's the fair from the old Night uh, series. <laughs> exactly. A little stubby rapier. So again, I think his dead giveaway to me was a sword. I think he's the only guy that's got the little pointy Yeah, his, helmet's can, his hat is kind of like the prospector's hat. Yes. Yeah, that's another one you have to be careful with. But I think the pick, there's and a... He does have a mustache on him, so he is he basically... <laughs> he is basically Nico Montoya. Nico Montoya. You give him a father. 
Okay, number eight. I'm leaving. I've only seen him once. Exactly. Oh, I haven't seen it tons. They used to air it all the time. Usually on the weekends, actually, when you're a kid. Good times. Uh, and this one's the Prospector. The Prospector! I kind of like that. I, I was kind of originally not looking for this guy, but I think it's this goofy little face. Uh, I think you end up descending by the full series. Um, pretty much, actually. I think I might be just three short at this point, and then after this run, I'm like, okay, fine, we'll go clean it up and figure out who I missed. The middle phase of the series. Although I don't think the Space Miner was something. He didn't really do anything for me, though. I don't know. You're probably the better, but you're going to get all the rest of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I love the face on this guy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's fine, just throw him away. Yeah. Well, he's got the missing teeth, and he's got a gold teeth as well. Exactly. So again, Prospector, it was his axe that kind of made me not think it was the swashbuckler. It's a little nice little two-piece little axe, little pickaxe. Perfect. He's a lot like the Prospector out of a uh, Toy Story. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Let me get finish him off there. Yeah. <laughs> so, what figures in the series are actually aiming for? Um, I pretty much got everyone. I think the only ones I think I may have deliberately passed on were the Princess and the Wizard. The Wizard I thought would do something for me, but it didn't. And uh, the Space Miner. I think those are the only three I kind of thought, okay, well, I so probably don't have. Cause they have the three were even not to get for you. Yeah. I think the other ones, like, I just kind of thought, yeah. Did I kind of thought, like, something like the Light Garden. So you're, well, getting, you're getting the Diva Hathohoff that you're in for the Diva Hathohoff? I thought it was just it was kind of cheesy. It's cheese ball. And lo and behold, boy, I don't know if that is one. No, no, you got the jester. The jester. I wanted to get the jester. With a little playing card, just okay, cool. I had a jester costume as a kid, so did you? Well, I did it actually. My mum made me. Mum made it, but you're not gonna see me wear it now because it's fifty times too small for me now. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had a little cowboy uh, costumes. Nice. I always always want to be a cowboy growing up. Cowboy. Maybe that's why I moved. Maybe that's why I moved to Canada. I think he. That's why he did. That's why he did. I really like the jester hat, though. Again, it's um etched. It's, Printed on really well, nice and clean lines. Yeah. I'll hold up the camera, get a better view. Uh, his dead giveaway was probably the hat. And <laughs> oh, yeah, probably the, the hat. The fact that he came with two little single bricks for cards. So that worked out really well. No, I may want I may want the jester, but. Yeah. I don't know. Sound He's through. doing the Matrix. He's doing the limbo. Limbo, limbo, limbo. He's like Chiquita Banana. Actually, that's who they haven't made yet. Chiquita Banana. <laughs> Or she's it's these Futurama ones. Exactly, yes. And well, you did, you did a Simpsons series, and I do a Futurama series. Exactly. Make me happy. So, hold on, he's got the cards in his hand. I... The cards are nicely done. Nicely printed. Nicely clean, yep. Magic of Tampa. Except for you got a uh, Duke up there, Dan. Oops. No, I guess so. I guess it is. Angled. That eye has a head. Ah, oh, the gamer. Bill. So, this is another one. This one was a bit trickier. I think it's just the fact that he's got one, like, one, uh, one by two. I think that mimics the controller. I think that's what kind of gives him away. Uh, I felt like the head, the hair piece with the earphones was kind of hard oh, to Oh, yeah, it's feel out, busy. Any head mold, basically. Any exactly. hair mold. Oh, that's the game. Right? Especially got the Diva Hassel's one of and he's got his busy exact same hair mold. Yeah. This headphones in this one. Exactly. Oh, the game is cool. Prayer one. So that's kind of cool. It's not for, something I wouldn't really go out to buy. Really? This is that one. I first saw that one. I was like, oh, I have to get this one. It's the gamer. And he's basically got the Super Nintendo controller. Some analog sticks on it. That looks like yeah. It doesn't have the shoulder buttons, of course. And it kind of reminds me of the Super Nintendo controller. Well, yeah. albeit I never actually played the Super Nintendo. <gasps> I never had. Super, I never had a Super Nintendo growing up. Really? Okay, there we go. We got David Hasselhoff. And look, apparently he wears butt floss. Now this is really weird. I kind of thought... I wish they would start pinning the backs of like... Honestly? Got... Yeah, I guess it could kind of gum But they only but... really started doing the shorts on figures, though. They didn't yeah, really do that. that that's true. Shorts are basically or the pants. whole cross piece with pinned. So now I've bought a, I've got a lifeguard guy that has assless board shorts. He was riding the wheels and the wheels got really rough and burnt the shorts off. But apparently he works hard! Maybe just lifeguard. people are crazy ripped. I mean, all the lifeguards I've seen. Maybe, maybe he's just like Diva Hassel and he sucks in sure. all the time. Exactly. He's got a girdle. Or that or his assless So I guess the key shorts. to find him was... Uh, <laughs> Look, he's mooning everybody. He's mooning the internet just like Marge was back in our debut video. 
Look, you see you, baby. Shake it out. I guess a good way to him was the flotation device and the binoculars. Yeah, I think that was one thing. I kind of thought the binoculars, I was like, I don't know what the hell these are. So I'm like, yeah, that's okay. It might be something interesting. And lo and behold, it's the guy with the assless shorts. That's kind of. I wasn't of expecting weird. assless shorts, but I guess you're always going to pose and fierce and. I guess. The, I guess it would have been a nice play. touch, but. Because it's now it's moderately disturbing, so... Now you're going to just know about it and... Pretty much, yeah. Point out every time you, everyone looks at the figures. <laughs> Look, he's got ass with shorts. <laughs> Nothing at all. Nothing at oh, all. The camera. Nothing at all. See, so, yeah, I don't know. It's not really my type of figure. If I got him, I'd think, oh, I got him, but... Exactly. Yeah. Would you go out? Well, yeah, now they His got... shorts got a JT initial on them. Oh, dear. Justin Timberlake? Yeah. No. Oh, God. Did I accidentally buy, like, a... Never mind. Let's just leave it at that. Number 12. Which one is this? Alright, we're in the 20 minutes in this video. Hope oh. you're having fun. Yeah, I know, really. You got the pizza guy, so you did the pizza game. Pizza man! Yeah, this guy was a pain in the butt to find. Um, flat discs are your friends, apparently. Searched through almost like 50 guys before I found one, so... It's kind of cool. He's got like, he's like the pimply-faced teenager guy from uh, Simpsons. Yep. Mr. Something, I did it again! <laughs> There you go, he's holding his pizza box totally wrong, and he's holding the pizza in the most unfood safe manner possible, right <laughs> on the crust. He's like, hello! Well, I think the way he holds in the, in the picture as well. Yeah. So, yeah, that's quite nicely done. Nicely detailed, tampa graphed. He's everything. got braces as well. He does have braces. I, I, I think it's the first Lego figure of braces that's turned the hot to. <laughs> like he said, Lego people need braces! Yeah. This guy does. I think it's the first Lego figure I've seen with braces. Nice. And he's got a little uh, pizza stands on his shirt. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Nicely detailed. And who is our last one? Well, I think this might be a dead giveaway. Oh, yeah. So, hey, 13 different figures. That's oh, cool. Nerd. And this is the Wednesday Adams. Ooh, look, everybody. More painted G strings. Yeah, a G string. It's more of a uh, stockings. Oh. oh. I got the skirt in this one. Sure. They got the same problem with skirts. They don't really want to stick together at the corners. Yeah. The game, no double printing on any of these figureheads. A little disappointing, but... Uh, what kind of track, uh, led me on that this was her was the bear. The bear? It's a reuse from... I think they did like a sleepy head that had a bear, but they also did Maggie and she had Bobo. So this guy's just a reuse. Also, and the elf had a bear as well. Oh, that's true, yeah. I forgot but I got the elf. elf. I like the elf. It was creeping out. Then again, I bought pantsless... Not your name, not the camera there. Oh, I bought assless there we go. shorts. David Hasselhoff, so... David yeah, Hasselhoff. cool. Very nice set, Very so... Bigger. Yeah, so, cool. I got 13 different figs. Yay, it's a new rack. It's a... Actually, I've never really bought duplicates. I may have just bought unwanted figures by accident, but I just made do with it. Okay, I guess I'll quickly open these, see if there's any figures that we didn't have in this series. If we did, I'm just going to put them to the side, because we've already seen the rest of them. Exactly. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. What is best in life? Okay, this your is uh, See, Mongolian. Okay. That's the only one that I wanted. That brand picked that for me. This one's definitely even fell by brand because it's got a big crinkle mark in the Magic corner. Magic fingers. This one is the pig suit. Pig suit, nice. Another one I want. This one is... Wincy Adams, basically. Another one I want. i got two more to go. Magic fingers. This one is the Spice Guy. So oh, we haven't okay. had this one yet. This one you're saying was probably the Spice Guy. Yeah, he was kind of a dead giveaway. I think it was like the Mass Effect style chest armor. Oh no, I picked up a bag when I was in Walmart and I'm like, this guy, this bag is kind of bulky. I'll buy this one. Bulky one. So let's Not... put this together. He's got a lot of parts though. Oh yeah, lots of parts. He has a really bulky bag. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'll buy you. He actually could look quite nice on my alien. I think that's one of the alien figures. Oh, there you go. So, put them together. Pretty simple. Kind of sounds. He's actually got uh, various of the old uh, Space Lego logo. Oh, on yeah, the shoulder. The shoulder pad. Okay. That's actually cool. He's got a modified uh, old motorcycle helmet. That was, makes it suitable for space. Oh, I even put the gun on his head. <laughs> or the, the drill on his head. It's, like, it's, actually quite, it's actually quite cool, this one. Okay. Well, maybe it's kind it's of really bulky and stuff, but it'll go nicely with the alien I have. Yeah. So, 
Definitely There's one of the ones nice. we didn't have in the in the video from Bren's set. There you go. So there's that one. Nice. And I'm pretty sure if I was a gambling man, that's a big guy. Or even a big guy. You know. But you said it's maybe a duplicate. I don't think it is. So another big guy, but that's okay, because I need a stand for my Vitruvius. And big guys are dull boys. Big guys. He'll probably go in the drawer for extra Lego pieces. There you go. But, Stop. Okay. but yeah, that's a, a video oh. of the Lego minifigures. Series 12. I can't believe you're on the 12 series already. I know. Well, actually, technically, what? This is, would be, like, to me, I think count as, like, 14 if you count the Lego movie and The Simpsons. Yeah, so. they didn't count the actual series. Although, this is the second largest set that I personally own. I got all of The Simpsons, because... We well, have to. This is, this is stupid. If and you, you got me an itchy scratchy. It's the only ones I want. They fight. They fight. Oh, I you cannot have itchy scratchy. Yeah, and you cannot just not have Lego people. So there's a you yeah. Lego people in your house. Exactly. They're, these are awesome. Waiting for series fifteen. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Wow. So some the years they released two a year, but they've already had the Simpsons this year, and they got this series. In the movie and the movie. So I think it's like three sets this year. Yeah. My wallet cries every four months. These aren't that expensive. No, they're not that bad. They're not oh. like Benny Spaceship. Thanks for, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and all of the above. And thanks for watching this long video. Have a good one.